2021 Sevens football was back in fashion in Court Island as a host of stars battled for the inaugural Gaelic Life Trophy. For man as Roy Foy, seen here scoring the goal was just one high profile player on display. The play competition was won by Scotstown who beat Downs Longstone. But it was the cup competition that really caught the imagination. The semi-final between Court Island and Cardiff seen here was the game of the tournament. The hosts, Scone Island, were in scintillating form during the group stages, but when they met Antrim side Cargan, they did not get everything their own way. Antrim County footballer Justin Crozier was Cargan's linchpin, though in this instance his pass went astray, Stephen McNally made an interception, and Stephen Curran had a finishing touch. Stephen McNally added another goal as Cal Island ran out 4 7 to 4 6 victors. To book their place in the final against Armagh's Kai Kruppen, they accounted for Antrim's Craig in the other semi. In the final, McNally picked up where he left off. He scored this massive point and things looked dismal for the Armagh hopefuls. But some fine scoring of their own towards the end of the first half kept them within five points of Kalev. Darren Monaghan's wonder goal towards the end of the game capped off a spurred entire cup of display. However, the Armagh men tired visibly and were unable to break down a solid Kalev defence. At the whistle, Kill Island celebrated their 4-5 to 2-6 victory. The player of the tournament prize was chosen by Peter Hearn, the Macquarie Cup winning manager, and he selected Stephen Harold, the Armagh County under 21 from Kai Kruppen. Harold's size and pace proved vital to Kruppen's passes to the final. Harold was also called upon to accept the runners-up prize of £500 worth of sports vouchers, which was presented by Gaelic Life editor Morris Kennedy. But it was Coal Island captain Shane Hughes that got his hands on the award everybody wanted, the Jerome Crystal Gaelic Life Trophy. Hughes then went on to pay tribute to a gallant the Carr Cup and side. I'd like to offer commiserations to Carr Cup and with great title. And just, I was very unlucky for them now. I'd like to thank them too. The final word was left to Gaelic Life Editor Morris Kennedy. Well, it's been a very, very good competition, very high standard of football, and uh, it's been played in a very competitive and a very uh, uh, good spirited manner. So we're very pleased to be, to be 